So we'll go back to where you started. Oh, okay. Your dad. My dad. What does he think of Kim's Convenience? Oh, he really likes it. Yeah. So this is the daughter, oh, you mean your mom drove you to yeah. Toronto Free Theatre because she wasn't sure about the theatre. Yeah. And your dad is a you know, yeah. high energy physicist. And more, more than anything, they're, <clears throat> really, they're really happy I have a secure, like I have financial security now. Like, I mean, Kim's isn't going to go forever. We're finished season four. We're, season five is basically, it's a, it's a go as far as we all know. It's a go. Um, but more than anything in the, in the years that we've shot it, I've, I'm now fully, completely, and will never be in the sort of constant debt hole like that I was in for 30 years, really, where, where when you do get a big chunk of money, it clears your credit card and you feel light as a feather and you're not in debt. Like, not in debt is like feeling rich, right? Mm -hmm. so, so more than anything, they're, he, he, I think they're really uh, relieved about that. But they're also really proud and I think surprised but, and, and gratified that the show is successful both in Canada and in Korea. And um, in September, I was really touched to be honored with the Burke's Diamond Tribute in for Women in Film. Um, and it meant, it meant a lot to me because it's, it's just, it's sort of a general, it was, you know, a, a, an acknowledgement uh, on, uh, of sort of my career as a whole, but also the, the other women that I was honored with, especially Wendy Crewson, who really, you know, not only is she a, a, a wonderful actress, but she's an incredibly important leader in our community in terms of, of actor and actor's rights. Um, but also my parents were able to come. You know, it was a daytime event, they're 89, but it was a sit down lunch and it was just, I, like I just, I felt so lucky to have that opportunity to be with my parents and to be honored as an actor. Like, I'm not a loser. <laughs> yeah, but it's such a part of a long journey from them. Yeah. Their long journey from, yeah. from Korea to the US to here to being on the outside. And yeah. then a daughter who was on the outside. Yeah. And then her daughter perseveres and her yeah. daughter uses all her skills. And her daughter finally ends up telling a really important Canadian story. And then bringing story, pride Korea. to the Korean community. And I think that's what, you know, Wow. Yeah, it's kind of cool. That's kind of a wow. I it's don't know how many other performers have this kind of wow I think, at that point. I think there are probably lots, but it, it, it's so special. It's, uh, yeah, it's really, it just, it just feels, it just feels really good after all this. Like, can I get there, I can get there, and then, okay, it's cool from here. Oh, shit. <laughs>